coming to treatment the drug of choice these days is where, wherever available is lonafarnib lonafarnib is a farnesyl transferase inhibitor it does not allow that farnesyl group to be attached to these abnormal proteins and so the wild type of allele that is the normally functioning allele can function normally it can produce rna normally uh, it can produce its normal protein normally and it can continue its functions normally lonafarnib therapy has been shown in many children in many trials to improve the development of cardiovascular complications as well as overall mortality but it does not affect the dermatological manifestations the bone and joint abnormalities and contracture manifestations and the ocular manifestations as well as dental manifestations these days trials are happening where lunafarnib is being combined with sirolimus which is a mTOR inhibitor but it is a still experimental therapy drug of choice where possible is lunafarnib and then supportive therapy needs to be given in the form of human recombinant growth hormone which improves short stature bone uh, uh, muscle mass development in these children 0.05 mg per kg per day subcutaneously and low dose aspirin in a dose of around 2 mg per kg per day decreases the chances of cerebrovascular accidents in some of these individuals however it's a condition which does not usually have a good outcome and most of them will not survive beyond maximum 20 years of age we hope in the coming years some new therapies may be will be able to to, to manage will be able to use to manage these children better to improve their survival better